Can you believe 2018 is already behind us? Hi, I'm Trey Doby with the Doby team of Keller Williams Capital Realty. Today I'm going to take a few minutes to look at the real estate market in 2018 and what it's going to look like in 2019. So 2018 was a good year for real estate. Um, sales were down slightly. They were down 3% across the tri-state area um, here in southwest Indiana. That's eight counties whenever I refer to uh, southwest Indiana. Um, that's Vanderburg, Warwick, Spencer, Perry, Dubois, Pike, Gibson, and Posey counties. These are the eight counties I'm going to be talking about today. Um, as I mentioned, sales were down about 3%. Um, however, the average sales price was up almost 6% in 2018. Um, 2018 was another year similar to 20. 17, where there were not enough homes on the market. Um, we had a lot of buyers that were looking that couldn't just find what they were looking for. Um, so that's why there was a lot of appreciation. Um, you know, with the average sales price being up almost 6%, that's the highest it's been in the last 20 years. Um, it, late in the year in 2018, interest rates began to climb a little bit. We actually crossed over 5% for the first time in almost 10 years. Now, relatively, um, looking back in history, 5% is still historically low for interest rates. Um, so whenever we look at the market in 2019, what are some things that we're going to see? Um, we expect to see interest rates that could continue to rise. They did drop back down. They're currently right at about 4.875% on a 30-year mortgage. Um, we do expect those interest rates to rise just a little bit throughout um, 2019. In the first quarter, we're expecting them to be around 5% and slowly increasing to around 5.3 or 5.4 percent by the end of the year. With interest rates rising, this could actually help us on the supply side. Um, it could actually um, free up some more homes where we um, um, will have more homes available for sale. So it could ease the supply side, um, which actually could help us on sales. Um, I expect 2019 to be very similar as far as home sales. In uh, 2017, a little over 5,000 homes sold in 2018. 18, it was just under 4,900 homes sold in these eight counties. Um, I, I suspect in 2019, we're going to be very similar to those same numbers. Um, we are expecting appreciation to continue um, throughout 2019. It may not be as strong as it was in 2018, just due to the fact of the rising interest rates. Uh, but I've done a lot of research. Um, There's 105 economists that were surveyed on where the housing market was going to head in 2019. Out of those 105, 104 of them actually uh, projected that homes would appreciate in 2019. So the interest rates are going to tick up. Shouldn't have too much of an overall effect about uh, the housing market, especially here in southwest Indiana. But if you want more specific information about your county, I'm going to do a more in-depth market review on January the 17th. That's Thursday, January 17th. Check out our Facebook pages. We'll go over more in-depth in Vanderburg County, Evansville, Newburgh, Warwick County, and every county individually. Um, because whenever we look at those counties, there were a um, slight bit of differences. Um, ex for example, Spencer County was down almost 20% in sales. Perry County was up almost 18%. Um, so there was... Uh, um, uh, some changes in the in, in each county individually, so we'll go on that more in depth. Uh, but if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to us. Thanks, and have a great day.